Peraza. Jose Peraza, okay, and you are? Demonte Holiday. You guys Holiday. are both seniors, is that right? Yeah. As a player, what's the difference between a night game and a day game? At night games, it's easier to see. To be honest, it's like the, the way we're facing, we're facing straight to the sun, so most teams is going to take that advantage since they want to cross, so they're going to make our offense go into the sun. You don't have to worry about that at night, though. No. What has it meant to you guys now that you're just going to be doing day games? We actually came closer as a family. knew that we have to just get through everything, and this should just be a learning process for us. So in the real world, like, everything doesn't go all So when you play away, oftentimes they have lights on their fields where you play, right? Yeah. yeah. So where are your last couple games this year? Um, this uh, is... This Friday will be our last, our last night game. Basically. Where are you playing? We're playing at Pax County. And they have these four light poles like you have? Yeah. yeah. Same array, it's, are they pretty new? Pretty much, yeah. And so more people are going to be showing up because it's night? Yeah, and also like our school is actually came to a, a little thing for us, for us to have more supporters. So we, we end up having here does. What's that? All the, all the students are able to come, like, we will fill up a whole bus of our students for the, and then they'll take them to our game. So how many, how many spectators do you get during these day games? Um, not really a lot. In like a night game, will the stadium be half full at least? Yeah, at least more, more than half. Because we have our, our little pop water team come and watch them play. And then uh, this Friday's game, of course, all the parents can come too, right? Yeah.